Did did that just happen? Did Hiromashima just pull this kind of trash that pulls from all these kind of other mangakas? Did he fin finally give in to all these this disregarding haters who just says he doesn't kill off any characters? Did he finally give in into something I never wanted him to give in to? Or are we all being trolled again in the most heart-wrenching, heartbreaking, saddest way possible? Either way, this chapter is nothing but upset. It is only upset from me, the angry anime fan, the despair reviewer. And I review it in 0166. So as you can tell from the beginning, yes, I am going to scream. I just barely continue, I just barely managed to keep that quiet. So, so I'm just saying, uh, now I'm really going to scream. So what happens in that chapter? Well, first of all, it's detonation in one minute. Um, uh, that, uh, and everything is just gonna happen. So, what is making this ship so upset? Well, I'll just spoil the ending for you right here at now, right now. Which sacrifices herself. She decides to stop the ship, and she um, and upsets into the top of the ship, and uses perfect matrix to shield herself. Also, the other two dies is indeed Yuna and Shura. Is the fact that uh, this scene is what made a lot of people disgusted. But if you think about it, yes, it is disgusting. But it is also extremely tragic. Shura was nowhere near a tragic character. He was a piece of filth and he will always be a piece of filth. But Yuna in the end, even though she did fall in love with Shura through the Red Thread of Destiny, eventually it actually turns out she did fall in love with him. So the reason why she left Laguna right there was indeed because she did indeed love Shura, but also because she felt like this was something wrong with her and it was something wrong with Shura as well. So it's, uh, so it's, that's just how it happens. In the fact that, uh, yes, a lot of people did complain about this because they felt that, oh, this is just so wrong. And, but you have to think about it, people. Yes, this is so wrong because it is just the... POINT! It is to show just how much a mind can break under certain amount of stresses. And Yuna herself lampshades this. She says that she is something wrong with her herself. She didn't say that when she was before, but now she realized that there was something wrong with her, that being fallen in love with the man who tortured her, killed her comrades and even her father. And Shura was just attached to her because of the string. But, uh... uh but according to you and I didn't work on uh, Shura because he had never known love. So she decides to hug him and just says that uh, the spark of love has kindled inside you. It kindled from me. So in essence, this actually creates that the, the false love that eventually became turned real. So eventually, for all of his scumminess, this turns into a genuine, tragic, uh, alas, poor villain scene for both Yuna and for Shura. Because even uh, Shura commits, confirms himself that he is a monster. He embraced all of his violence and everything else. But in the end he did find someone who did love him. Even though she also did say that it's... Uh, uh, even though they did say that she is garbage enough to do this. So this is a disturbing scene. Just as equally as it is kind of gut-wrenching in the scene. Shura was irredeemable. I wish Yuna could have seen more of this sheen, scene, but, but but they were in the end made for each other. Shura's not concept of not knowing love had shattered his mind to insanity. And Yuna, having her mind broken and then using the red thread of destiny, eventually became a genuine Stockholm Syndrome situation and a genuine pity for him. They were made for each other, and... Uh, uh, and this is why they have to die together, because these tears aren't tears from a monster, they come from the human heart. And so the ship collapses, and which uses her ultimate matrix to shield from the explosion. 
But even though the Eden Zero seems to survive, she herself does not. As we see a flashback uh, of when uh, the uh, when the Eden Zero crew found the baby Sh Shiki. Even Valkyrie was there back then. Even mentioned that she would have wanted to teach him the swordsmanship. It is a very even more gut-wrenching scene of the fact that... Uh, that... <sighs> Which she was the mother of the Eden Zero, and this is also another reason why she was so loyal to Shiki. Because, well, you know, she just, uh, she just, uh, she vowed to protect him like a mother, and so she says her final words to everybody else, defying an order that she must live. She says to everyone, "The path you follow will surely take you from any hardship." But if you work together, there's no trial you cannot face. Everyone on this ship is family. You love each other, forgive each other, help each other. And I am proud to have been this shield put in the ship. I'm truly happy to meet you all. Even if that shield fatters and falls to pieces, my heart of love for, for you will never be broken. I love you, she says, as the explosion consumes her body, which dies, leaving only, well something else behind and not exactly known what that is that she leaves behind but it seems to be a piece of a clothing of some sort <sighs> yeah this chapter is nothing more than an incomplete and utter uh, incomplete and utter sadness and uh, I am upset in fact I'm so upset I cannot even scream that is just how upset this chapter made me. The Yuna scene was tragic in itself because in the end it really became Stockholm Syndrome. But, in the, but if you think about it, that was also once again Hiromishima giving everyone a middle finger. Because you know, people always complain that he, that he throws in these sort of situations to explain other situations. And then he just suddenly went back into this, that it was a genuine Stockholm Syndrome and pity love. So that was him basically giving the middle finger to all the haters of that one as well. And now this. I mean, why? You do not kill off main characters. That is not your shtick. It is only the shtick of all these trash writers that peep, that like attack on Titan or something like that. What am... Why? Are you trolling us again? Or is this genuine? Because the problem with this is if this was a troll moment, do you know how many people are gonna be upset even more about that? Because they're just gonna say, Oh, he finally had the balls to kill off a main character. Oh, wait. No, he didn't. Of course, if she stays dead, that is equally upsetting. So no matter what, this is not a good Thing. I hate these sort of things. These are despair I do not like to see. And I did talk with someone on the on Twitter on this, and he agreed. He did not like this either. He want, just as me, that uh, Rebecca should cat leap this. But the thing is, she can't do that. I mean, at least she shouldn't be able to do that. She already have used up the rebind. Um, unless, of course, we know everything about the thing. And besides... What else is there to rewind by which is death? They cannot rewind the bombs, unless, of course, um, they are rewinding to stop it. Again, that wrong choice speech or whatever. In the end, this is this chapter. Complete and utter heartbreak. And an upsetting chapter. And, yeah, I, I don't have any more words to say about this. I did not like this, but you can give me your thoughts, if you have any. Because in the end, the emotion was real, and it was a gut-written chapter. So, I mean, that worked. That was brilliant. But these actions, no. I did not like it.